Somebody in the Department of Public Works, her, she's unfortunately about to leave to go to statewide planning, but she's still, she's the curbside administrator. And that is the role um, within DPW whose job it is to manage the curb. And so her name is also Liza, <laughs> Liza F. Liza F. had wanted to do a curbside plan that would have looked at every accessible parking spot and say, where are we gonna put more of them, mm -hmm. right? Unfortunately, that didn't get funded within the city budget um, last year. And so it's, but it's really important that we do this. We have to do an inventory of the state of citywide and statewide where these spots are and then make a plan to increase that number. Um, so curbside plan, if I can impress that upon you and have you advocate for that at the city level, that's what we need in order to and make more spots. We actually need that at a state level, yeah. <laughs> but we'll start at the city. We'll start at the city. But we need it as a state level. Yes, curbside plan. And what would be the role of say the planning department yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would be the curbside administrator. So the curbside administrator does things like does some planning activities like this and they, and they also manage the parking meters, you know, do some operation stuff. So they would the curbside administrator, if funded this, they would work with the planning department to create a curbside plan for the whole city. And that would do things like, you know, make uh, like scooter and bike racks off the sidewalk like so that it's not in the way. It would manage Uber and Lyft loading zones. It would man manage small business loading zones. It would manage the um, accessible parking. It's, it would be looking at curb space throughout the city and being like, what do we want curb space to be for? It's very valuable land. Everybody wants a bit of the curb, right? And right now, 99% of it is used for private vehicle parking, accessible, not accessible, what have you. And just a tidbit on that, we cannot use Uber and Lyft. Yeah. In the state of Rhode Island, <laughs> I could not use Uber and Lyft. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, Kurt, we need we need to be thinking about this in a more comprehensive way, and to do that, we need a plan. Um, and so I would I strongly advocate for a curbside plan for the city, something we don't have yet. You want to tell everybody cool. about Jane's Walk first? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Also, welcome to Jane's Walk. <laughs> <laughs> we should have started with that. But, you know. Okay. Um, Jane's Walk is a global walking festival. Something Joelle from Ripta has been yes. deeply involved in for many, many years. So this, it's we have I think twelve walks this weekend. There's something like that. Yeah. And also mini cities, which yes. is going to be amazing this afternoon yeah. and tomorrow afternoon yeah. too. So who's Jane? Anybody know who Jane is? Jane Jacobs. Jane Jacobs. Yeah. <laughs> who's Jane Jacobs? Yeah, Jane Jacobs was a mom. She was a just an your average ordinary citizen who understood what her community needed, which was not to have a highway built through it. And she organized her neighbors and her um, and her yeah and wrote and and she battled the powers that be um, to prevent a highway going through the West Village, um, right through Washington Square Park. For those of you who are familiar with New York City and can think about a highway going through Washington Square Park, she was instrumental in stopping that. And the whole point is that everyday citizens, you don't have to be trained as an urban planner, although that is a, a cool thing. And if anybody's interested, let me know, because like, planning is an awesome field. But you don't have to be trained as a planner. You don't have to be trained as an engineer to know what your city needs. And oftentimes- I'm not trained in anything. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get around. Tina is the <laughs> prime example. That's a yeah, but I have no training in nothing. Yeah. I just say, I want it done. You figure it out. That's not my job. That's yours. <laughs> yes. So that's what Jane's Walk is celebrating. It's it's walking and rolling around our cities to, to deeply understand what they need um, and looking at the city from that perspective. Anybody have any questions before we start our journey? Can I just add a little bit more yeah. about Jane's Walk? Um, in case, okay. Um, I'm Joelle and I used to be the coordinator of this festival for a couple of years and um, Caroline Knight Stevens is now doing an amazing job with this and yeah there's more walks today, tomorrow, um, there are surveys also on postcards that of yes. course I don't I will, have I, I have the, the surveys, I will give them to you but at the end. It would be great to get feedback about the timing, the topics. I think um, it's really important for everyone who's on a Jane's Walk to think about what kinds of topics they're interested in and think about leading one on their own in future years. There's just an opportunity for everyone to get to talk to each other on the walk. I think that's really what's important here is asking questions, starting conversations about these topics, you know, interrupting at any point um, and making this our own. So I think it's it's a really cool week and it is happening in cities around the world. I want to say six continents and um, and I'm so happy that everyone is here today. And, and then I also do work at RIPTA and as Casey mentioned, awesome. um, we have a committee for people who do use public transit 
and are interested in accessibility issues, we do have an Accessible Transportation Advisory Committee that meets every month, first Thursday, four o'clock. I'm on it. And yeah, and it's, we're meeting hybrid now. So um, if people don't want to come to Rifter's office, they can still, you know, give us some feedback and learn about projects from the beginning, which, um, which has been really, it's just been really instrumental for us. Um, it, it's made all of our projects better when, when we think about things from a different perspective. So happy to talk about it and just happy to see everyone here today. And while we go on our walk, we want you guys to interrupt. We want you guys to ask questions. You know, we want you guys to look at it. Picture yourselves in a wheelchair using a walker or a cane as we walk around. And if you notice something, say it. We want to see it from your perspective, not just me talking the entire time. So interrupt, talk, but we're going to have a great walk. Is everybody ready? Yeah. All right, let's the do it. The only 